If you're like us, you're looking to reduce or remove the need for expensive synthetic fertilizers, and you might be considering ways to improve your soil health. One of the methods that is gaining popularity is extracting and applying microbes that grow in compost. The main challenge that we have come across and many farmers still struggle with, beyond obtaining compost that contains the desired microbes, is an effective method to get them out of the compost and into the soil. We have tried several different ways for extraction, which didn't work for us. Finally, we've come across this short video by Dr. David Johnson. In it, he's making his extract for coating seeds, and we have decided to give it a go. A good couple metric tons of compost extracted later, we can confidently say that we have something that gives us the reliability we're looking for. And this is where it becomes controversial, because most methods use relatively gentle ways to knock microbes off compost, whilst we have settled on a spinning lump of metal. The reason we're happy with it, and can confidently recommend it, is that we have looked under the microscope at every step of the process, time and time again, and we don't see any losses or damage to the biology. This is the setup we've settled on. We put 10 to 12 liters of water into a 30 liter bucket. We then top it up to about 15 liters with compost to maximize the concentration. There's nothing stopping you from using a larger vessel though. The tool is powerful enough to work with greater volumes. And here is the secret tool that makes it possible. A plaster mixer. You can use a simple paint mixer on a drill, but this is much more powerful and also much more comfortable to hold. Put the power on the lowest setting. A 30 to 60 second gentle run is enough to strip most of the microbes off the surface of the compost. We end up with a slurry which contains too much of the bulk, and that needs to be removed. To do that, we strain it through a 400 micron pond filter, a cheap product that you can find on Amazon or eBay. Go for the largest you can find for ease of handling. Put the remaining bulk compost back onto your pile, or if you're like us, on a static pile which will be reused in the future. And now you have a bucket of a concentrated compost extract. Before we use it, we will check under the microscope for any signs of mechanical damage to the microbial life and the numbers we're expecting to see. This is the reason we've chosen to stick with this method. It gives us the greatest concentration of microbes in the extract compared to the others we've tried out. Arguably, it's also faster and more efficient. Once we're happy with the quality, we put it into a farm sprayer or a watering can, depending on what we're applying it to. On a side note, this is how we begin our compost teas. If you don't have your own inoculation grade compost, but would like to try this method, you can buy some on our website. And if you do have some compost, but are unsure if it contains the biology you're after, feel free to send us a sample. If this video is helpful, let us know in the comments.